Hello and welcome to another walkthrough for Postgres for Everybody. In this walkthrough we're going to do a simple musical track database. We're going to explore the, the copy command. Um, and so the idea is we're going to take a comma separated value and um, it depends on how you're doing this. I'm going to use Python Anywhere given that uh, uh, a lot of what we're doing is on Python Anywhere. So here I am in Linux. I'm in my home directory. Um, I got no files other than that readme.txt and I need to get so I'm going to run the Postgres pgsql or psql command here but I have to get this file onto this same computer that's running my um, client so that it can read it and so there's a command in Linux and sometimes Linux you use wget or curl minus o they in this case they do the same thing they grab data from a URL and they copy it to a file on your hard drive. So you'll see that this makes a connection like a browser to a URL and now I've got a file that's got about 20,000 characters on it and if I edit it with my happy little vi library.csv you see that this is a comma separated value that's got artist and title and album and and my rating and the, the number of views and the length of this thing and so it's comma separated value the kind of thing that spreadsheets produce and our goal is to load this into a database. This track raw, which is going to have, you know, there's six columns in my CSV file. There are six columns in track raw. And so I've got to run the Postgres command. And so here's all my Postgres details. But because uh, I do this way too many times, I also make it so that you don't have to construct that. And so that's the PSQL command that I've got to type. I'm going to copy my password and paste that over. And now, of course, I'm talking to, I'm not talking to Linux anymore. I'm talking to the PSQL command. And so I've got this prompt. Hello, world. What? And so, you know, I'm, it's expecting me to type something, and I'm not typing what it wants. And it, you'll notice that this little arrow is telling me something and it's telling me that I'm in the middle of a communication and that's because it expects that semicolon is going to what's in, going to happen to end a potentially multi-line SQL statement so um, in this case it was expecting me to type SQL and I didn't um, but it was in a continuation and so that's why it messed up I can take a look at my tables with backslash DT now, backslash DT is not structured query language. That is part of what it is we do inside PSQL. So this is a feature of PSQL, and you might use a different database client, and you will have a different way to list all of the tables. But you can also type um, SQL as well. So, so going back to our assignment, the thing we've got to do is to run a bit of SQL. Now, you'll notice that this is three lines of text ending in a semicolon. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it. And so you'll see it's it's telling me that it's in a continuation. The second continuation says it's not only in a continuation, but it's in a parenthesis. But then if I hit enter, that means that the semicolon is going to cause that statement to execute. And if I say backslash DT, it's going to show that I've got another table. Those other three tables, PG free, debug, meta, and result, they're from previous assignments that I was doing. So I now have library CSV on my local hard drive, and I've got a table called track raw, and the only thing I need to do is to run and copy this all in. Now, later we'll learn all kinds of ways using um, Python and other things to put data in, but I'm going to actually use a feature built into PSQL. Now, if you're using a different database client, this backslash copy is not necessarily going to work. You might be using a full screen client, but this is how we do it in PSQL. So for this assignment, you might be best off just using PSQL. So backslash copy is a command, a PSQL command, not an SQL command, a PSQL command, going into this table with these columns, read this file and split it with commas and do CSV. And so that's all built in. We're just going to run it. And it is going to have selected, I mean, it's, it's uh, going to have inserted select count star track underscore raw. Raw, type it correct, Chuck. Um, 
That's not good. What went wrong? I only got one. Select star from, oh, I think I needed to say from track raw. Yeah, that's going to make it a little better. <laughs> Select count star is what I wanted to say. There's supposed to be more than one track in there, and there is. There's 296. <laughs> So I just select count star track raw was not, was not a syntax error. I don't know quite what it was doing, but it was doing something. And that's why I was confused when I saw only one. But really there's 296, which makes a lot more sense. And doing the assignment, it says, hey, run this select statement just to see if you got the right data. And I will run it. And here's the data. And let Johnny Cash, computing conversation, natural wonders. And there we go. And at this point, I can submit my assignment because my assignment was to get this table created and then the auto grader is going to make a database connection to this same database and run a select command. So let's have it do that and so it got a good answer and away you go. And so I hope this has been a useful walkthrough uh, of one of these early assignments. Again, this one you might want to use PSQL for because of the use of the copy command. There, You can figure it out in other database clients. There might be an import button or something like that. But uh, for this one, it might just be easier to go ahead and use Python anywhere. Uh, let me quit onto this to get out backslash Q. Um, it might be easier to use Python anywhere for this particular one. So hope you found this useful. Cheers.